चैप्टर टू थ्री एंड फोर पर महालक्ष्मी और स्थिति चैप्टर नंबर फाइव टू थर्टी पर महा सरस्वती और समाहरण समाहरण में डिस्ट्रक्शन What is the distraction we are talking about here? So, generally, distraction is always understood in the physical sense. Here, it is understood in the spiritual sense. Agnyanam, avidya means ignorance of the divine or denial of the divine. The distraction of that and to understand the power of the divine, the existence of the divine is called vidya. So, Maha Saraswati gives the blessing of samharam. Destruction of the avidya. A person can be physically alive, but he is spiritually dead. The spiritually, the spiritual awakening is done in chapter number five to thirty-five. We have completed first chapter called Brahma Charitram, Madhima Charitram, chapter two to four. And in chapter five to thirteen, we are going to do the Uttama Charitram. Let's start the fifth chapter. Home. There are one. Vasanta Ji is also coming. She also wants to say in this one big fifth chapter. She is part of it. Okay. There are four stutis in Durga Sapteshti. Four prayers to Devi. The first one is in the first chapter. Devi Shukta. विश्वेश्वरी उनके अध्यात्रिण जो समारोह करेंगे तो तो तक पर्टिकुलर सेट ऑफ लोग का रिकॉर्ड दी सूती ऑफ़ द फर्स्ट चैप्टर देन सेकंड सूती इज़ द फोर्थ चैप्टर जस्ट बीच जस्ट कंप्लीटेड शक्कर आते हैं सूर्य का नाम यह नहीं दिव्य ये दस्तुन दुरारी दुरारी बने के दे या द थर्ड Gade Vizar Mahotesha Matar Lopeda Namatita Namatasya 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 Namo Namaha The fourth Suthi comes in the 11th chapter Sarva Mangala Mahangalye Shive Sarva Thasatike Sharanye Triyamba Kegori Nara Gede Namo Tude So now in this fifth chapter we are going to do the Devi Sukta The first chapter is Ratri Sukta The fifth chapter is Devi Sukta Prayer to Devi at the end of the fourth chapter, Devi had promised all the devas, if you remember me, I will come that particular second itself, that Tachana, that Kham I will be there. Shumbha and Shumbha, two powerful asuras have taken over the heavens and all the devas have driven out. They gather on the banks of Ganga and they pray to Durga Devi. Parvati who is taking her bath, she hears their prayers and out of her body, a beautiful 16-year-old girl, teenage girl, comes out called Kaushiki because she came from the Pusha or the sheet of Parvati's body. She is called Kaushiki. The 16-year-old girl, Durga, comes out and she causes the destruction of the Asuras starting with Dhonur Vachat in the 6th chapter, Chanda Munda in the 7th chapter where Maha, where Kali makes a very kind of appearance. Kali supports Durga in her fight. Chapter 8, Rakta Bija Vadham, where both Durga and Kali come together to get rid of Rakta Bija. And then the two big brothers, Shumbha and Shumbha in chapter 9 and 10. And in the 11th chapter, all the Devadas sing the praise of Devi. And in the 12th chapter, called Bhagavad Vakyam, Devi addresses all the devatas and she repeatedly instructs them and all of us please listen to Durga Sattasiti please listen to Durga Sattasiti look out for the word Shruti, Shruttva, Shruttva listen, listen, listen just listening to Durga Sattasiti will confer all the benefits nobody else is saying this but Devi herself and the 13th chapter where the Raja and the Vaishya I had not talked about it earlier many of you know this to be your Devi Mahatmya. The Raja and Vaishya, after hearing the story of Durga, they perform a home. Not knowing how to perform the home, they offer various things. Finally, they start offering parts of their body to the home. And after three years of home, Durga appears and she asks them, What do you want? And the story of Devi Mahatmya teaches us all a very big lesson in life. 
Some of us understand quickly, some of us will never understand. Raja never understood the divine divinity of Devi. He wants his kingdom back. He wants his kingdom back. Devi could have given him anything. He wanted his kingdom back. That is how we all are. We listen to any spiritual discourses. But once we move out of there, we come back to our normal self. Nothing goes inside. But the Vaishya had understood and he said, He be Jnanam. Jnanam means Brahma Jnanam. Brahma Jnanam is Moksha. But David does not grant him immediately. She laughs and she says, Tava Jnanam Bhavishyati. I bless that you should get Jnanam in the future. Because Moksha is not something that is given easily. But being the mother, so she, so she plays with him, immediately she get, grants him Moksha. When we listen to the Durga Sattashati, all of us should understand, are we in the Raja category, are we in the Vaishya category? It's a matter of introspection for us to understand. Thank you. Now we will start the fifth chapter. Homa. Idam Vitnam Chakrame Trehadita Devadam Namodhasya Vagam Sare Om Uttama Chakrasya Trutra Vrihe Masaswati Devata Amatshu Chanda Dima Shakti Pranay Deyam Surya Sattvam Samaveda Salopam Masaswati Pritya Trekama Kheva Nevi Yoga Dhyanam Om Ghandasura Halani Shakta Upade Shakta Sarekam Avasabhe Dhatri Nanakarana Cheta Mushamya Prama Yadavi Sarvabhu Deshu Mitra Rupena Samsila Namastasena Mona Maswaha Yadavi Sarvabhu Deshu Mitra Rupena Samsila Namastasena Mona Maswaha Yadavi Sarvabhu Deshu M
Romero Sanzela.